Hi again folks, how's all doing? So Keith who sent me the Sir Dunedan in my previous video uh, also sent me this non-runner Hornby J83 to look at. Uh, apart from my own J83, I've only looked at an older Hornby one with an XO4 motor before. Uh, my own LNER J83 will be very similar to this though I'd imagine. Uh, now I'm not going to even try running this. Uh, those of you with eagle eyes may have spotted that the wheel set is not only on upside down but also back to front leaving the, the middle drive wheels out of alignment with the others, so the wheels won't turn. Um, looks like there's been some jiggery faffery going on. Let's get it into the shed and we'll see if we can sort it out. Alrighty, hold on, a J83. I like a J83. Um, I've got the one in LNER green. Um, this one's supposed to have traction tyres on the middle wheels, which I took off. So that it runs a bit better. Um, this one doesn't have traction tyres. I think this is uh, more like the Thomas the Tank engine I worked on recently. But anyway, we'll get a look at it. Um, certainly the, the wheels are on upside down and back to front. So I think once we sort that, it should be okay. But, you know, the fact it's like that, it means uh, somebody's been in having a, a good old fiddle around. And uh, why were they doing that? So I'm guessing it wasn't running too well. And they've taken it apart, put it had a good... Jiggery faff, put it back together and got the wheels the wrong way around. Pop that off. Oh, I don't like that. There's two bare wires there very close to each other. That's a short risk. Um, right, okay. Type 7 motor. Pickups either side. Pickups look a bit mangled. Yeah, so we'll get the, uh, no couplings either, so we'll fit a couple of couplings. But let's get this off and get the wheels the right way around. We'll pull the motor out and make sure it all runs fine. Come on, you come. Get that out. Take the wheels out. We'll undo this motor because I want to make sure that the wheels turn nice and freely. We can disengage that and then pop these wheels back in the right way around. Like so. See, they just fall into place. Let's just pop this back on. Keep everything where it's supposed to be. Like that. Do they turn? Yeah, they do. Just check on the track. Perfect. Just pop this off again. It all looks pretty clean actually. There's nothing untoward in there. Drive gear looks fine. Wheels are pretty clean, so really there's nothing to do in there. Is this that simple a fix? Just swap the wheels around. My instinct tells me there'll be something else up with this. Certainly the pickups looked a bit mangled. Right, let me look at the motor. Oh my word. <laughs> oh dear. Serious fluffage. Probable carpet fibres by the looks of it, or something anyway. Blimey. We'll give it a scoosh out. There you go. That looks a bit better. Um, these pickups have been a bit chewed up. There we go. Right, I'll put a tiny wee bit of oil on the back bearing. A bit of oil in there. It hooks in there. It's down, get the pickups in position. Like so. Right, let's try it at that. 
aquí son and away she goes we'll give the wheels a polish we'll sort some couplings out and then I think we're done the wheels aren't that dirty actually just realised I haven't greased the worm gear get some mixture of silicon and PTFE grease on that imagine forgetting to do that right Okay, pump this back on. Something like that, and then we'll see what sort of couplings we've got for it. No name pockets, just a couple of holes. Uh, Right, I think these will do. Need to drill a hole in there. It should fit, I think. You know, my workbench area is just getting beyond the joke. I'm going to have to completely redo it. Um, I think I will be uh, redecorating this room at some point fairly soon. At that point, I think we'll uh, build a whole new work workstation. Let's see if this fits. Because it's getting to the point where I'm struggling to keep it even remotely tidy and I'm losing things. It's just not on. No, that doesn't work. One coupling on. Right, there we go. Coupling's on. Right, oh, uh, oh I'll tell you something I haven't done. That's uh, oiled the, the linkages. I'll give them a, a wee spot. Keep everything sweet. Oh, hang on. Oh, Jings, wait a minute. Just noticed that one has got a nasty bend on it. It's the end of this rod here. Is at a funny angle. We'll need to bend it back. Don't know if you can see, but it's a Slightly odd angle. So just grab it and we bend back. That's better. The other one's like that one's slightly bent in the opposite direction. Right, I'll give it a go at that. Kind of annoyed with myself for not spotting that earlier. Okay, right. Now I think we're done. Okay, there we go. Let's go and pull this out of the shed. Okay, so let's bring it out.
So there we are, that's this old Hornby J83 sorted out and running fine. Um, so yeah, the wheel set was on upside down and back to front. It probably would have run once I sorted that, but I'm guessing it would have been a bit stoppy starty and lumpy as uh, the pickups were a bit mangled, there was lots of carpet fibres and other nasties caught up in the gears and uh, the rods were a bit bent. But all sorted out now, fit some couplings and it runs nice. A fairly quick and easy repair for a change. Alright old folks, I shall get this packed up and sent back to Keith along with his Sir Dinner Dan. I'll catch you later folks.